Hey guys, salut mes amis, ok, hello goodbye. Maxime here. A new update is out, introducing some new danger zone changes. Before we go into the video, I'm back with Now Drinks. The focus drink with really healthy ingredients, no caffeine or taurine, helps with concentration, and works great with gaming and studying. You can use the code banana gaming to get 10% off, or go through my special link to get access to this banana gaming starter deal with a 40% discount. I'm a big fan of the raspberry flavor, so if you're new, I recommend that one. Make sure you check out Now Drinks in the video description below. Back to the video. We have an update for Danger Zone. A new item is out, known as the Ballistic Shield. This is a nostalgic item that's been with us for a very long time in the Counter-Strike franchise. The tactical shield was added into 1.6, as well as Counter-Strike Condition Zero, and played a big part in the bot missions that you could play there. They even had plans to release it officially to Source, but that never went through. What was the main problem with the shield? You were pretty much considered a troll if you used it against other people. You take zero damage from any bullets hitting the shield, and the only way you could kill an enemy was shooting their feet or throwing a nade. It was very rare to find community servers back in the day where they actually allowed the shield, cause it obviously ruined the gameplay. So how is it in CSGO? Definitely not the same. The shield seems to be able to block some damage, but then it breaks. It seems to block more damage by weapons with lower damage, such as pistols or turrets on the map, and it goes all the way up to about 350 damage points. But with weapons that do higher damage, the number falls to about 300 instead. Armor penetration might have a big factor in this, but I'm not entirely sure. Here's all the commands for the shield that I could find, but I'm not gonna go deeper into this. Good to know, picking up a shield will allow you to have it on your back and it blocks damage the same way, so it's kind of a second layer of protection. When you have it out, you can't do anything other than hit people with it. Not like in 1.6 where you could have a pistol out. It does however do 50 damage to players without armor and 25 with armor, so it's not totally useless. But if an enemy has a gun and they shoot you through the little window, yeah. So that's the shield. Like I said, definitely not as powerful as the 1.6 shield, which is a good thing. Plus, it's still useful and totally worth it by the end game. Just make sure you only use melee if you happen to struggle against someone without guns. A few other things have been added as deployment perks, but honestly, the exo boots are still king. Moving forward, we have more bug fixes. What I mean by more is because the previous updates that I haven't covered focused on that and a few changes to Sirocco. Even though Valve are doing a great job fixing, updating stuff, still not everything is fixed. Like this stuck spot for example. You might be able to escape if you order exo boots to your location, but this is pretty sad. Or how about this one near this bridge? That's even worse. Oh well, let's focus on a few things that were fixed. They added additional details to some roof areas. I noticed this especially because this wasn't fixed by previous updates. And finally, all the way down the stairs there used to be a big gap right here which allowed you to see outside the map. Apart from bug fixes, I'm happy they left the mines the way they are so you can still jump really high. That's part of danger zone now. And you can get some pretty sick kills with that. Now quickly to train. After they had updated the models with new collisions, some smaller issues started occurring. I'm not able to show you the changes, so you can just read them for yourselves. I was never aware of these issues, cool anyway that they are fixed. That's the summary I can give you guys. I'm expecting new items to come out next week for Danger Zone, probably the remote drone, but let's see what happens. I have another video coming out later, so stay tuned for that. If you want to support my channel then make sure you like the video, subscribe if you want more, and I'll see you guys soon. Stay awesome, and go bananas.